Today we're going to review another awesome vintage SUV on Bring a Trailer. Before we launch into today's example, if you're new to the channel, I'm Trey and this is Vintage 4 Wheel Daily. Each day we highlight a special interest vintage SUV on popular auction sites and give you pointers from a buyer's perspective what to look for and what to avoid. We also hope this simple format encourages interaction with our viewers on vehicle condition and ending price points. Starting today, we have a 2006 GX 470. This GX 470 has a low 71,000 miles, came standard with a five-speed automatic transmission. It's finished in an attractive titanium metallic exterior over an ivory leather interior. This one did have both the timing and water belt replaced in 2018. That's definitely a plus. Work in preparation for the sale included an oil change, new battery, and replacement of the front CV shafts. The seller also states that the cabin air filter was replaced in preparation for the sale. Starting with the pros on this GX470. Well, it's a GX470, that's a huge plus. These vehicles essentially are a wolf in sheep's clothing. This is a Land Cruiser with Lexus badging. While this model didn't make its way into the United States until 2003, it has been in rest of world markets for some time as a Toyota Land Cruiser Prado. These GXs have a reputation that precedes them. There are countless examples of these GX470s that have gone over 300,000 miles on the same engine. Now that's Toyota Lexus dependability. This one also has a low 71,000 miles since new. Again, and with many of these making it to over 300,000 miles, this has a lot of life left in it. This one's also finished in the attractive titanium metallic of her ivory interior. This is an attractive combo. The other reason we're bringing this to you and highlighting this vehicle, it has a strong ownership history. It only has two owners since new, both in the state of Florida. We'll do a deeper dive with the Carfax later in the video. Moving into the limited cons on this vehicle, the auction list chips alongside the body and also that the rear bumper is blemished. The only other minor cons on this vehicle are worn climate control buttons and also small cracks in the wood and plastic trim pieces. All in, these are relatively minor considering all the pluses with this GX470. So looking at the Carfax on this 2006 GX470, the first owner owned this on lease for approximately four years. They drove it for under 10,000 miles per year, which is low for the make and model. The second owner also in Florida has owned this for almost 13 years and has driven at a low 2,700 miles per year on average. The last mileage entry on this GX470 was in January 2023 at 70,785 miles. Before we dive into the pictures, you know the drill. We're going to start by looking at the comments. Why do we do this, you may ask? Close scrutiny of the comments can often guide you in what you need to look for in the pictures. It's always better to be informed, especially in this case, this auction has almost 300 pictures. You don't wanna go at it blind. So before we jump into the comments here, this auction has five days left on it. The current bid's at $16,000. There are three bids and there are currently 16 comments. With a full five days left, 16 comments shows this is an active auction. So what we're seeing here in the comments, uh, the first one says that's some serious dedication. He's in response to a person saying, I have a 2022 and I ceramic coat the undercarriage. I hope in 17 years, mine looks the same. He's right. This is one of the cleanest undercarriages I've seen on a 17 year old vehicle. Prior to that, the seller noted that there was no undercoat. He did clean it up, but no paint, nothing else. One thing you want to look for in addition to good quality pictures in a bring a trailer auction is also an adequate number of videos. Typically they'll do cold start, walk around, and also a driving video. So looking at the comments on this GX, there's really nothing that stands out to me. It's time to jump into the pictures. So getting started with the pictures here, this GX is finished in a very attractive titanium metallic exterior. I have a special affinity for the GX 470. I own a 2004 GX 470 in silver pine metallic with ash black interior. Looks very similar to this one. Funny story about my GX. So I bought it as a daily driver. So here's my thought process. I had just moved to Colorado. I wanted a vehicle I could take up into the mountains, but also not be too concerned if it gets a scratch or two. I knew I wanted a GX because I studied the market on Bring a Trailer. The early 100 series Land Cruisers have gone up considerably in price. The 80 series Land Cruisers have skyrocketed. I wanted something from that similar era that had the same dependability and ruggedness. I knew the GX 470 would get the job done. So I purchased mine from a Lexus dealership in California outside of Los Angeles. I bought it sight unseen. I relied on the pictures and a friendly salesperson. They helped me arrange the shipping. The shipping only took two days to get from Los Angeles area to Colorado. When it got here, it was actually nighttime. The driver drove a 18 wheel car mover into my residential area. Being that it was about 10 o'clock at night, it literally woke up all the neighbors. Everybody was 
just staring outside their window. They're probably thinking, who's the crazy person having a car delivered in the middle of the night? By the way, that was not the plan. They were supposed to arrive the next morning. So obviously I couldn't complain. They were arriving ahead of schedule with my car. So I pull it around into the garage and wow, car literally looked like it came through a time warp straight out of 2004. The exterior was immaculate. The interior looked and smelled like new. The only drawback is now I have two collector cars because I don't want to daily drive it. So I digress back to this auction. I bring that up because this GX looks very similar to mine. It does have a few thousand more miles, but it's super clean. One of the areas to focus on on these GX 470s is the rear lenses. This one looks immaculate. It looks like new. You can tell with this 2006 GX 470 just how clean it is. Just look at the rear taillight lenses. They look new from factory with no haziness or oxidation. These clear lenses here in the back and also the front headlight lenses, that's a sign of proper care. It indicates that it's been garage kept. Another pointer, not just with these GXs, look for any rust in the trailer hitch area. This one looks clean and dry. No signs of rust. And in fact, if I hadn't seen the comment about no undercoating, just cleaning, I would have thought that this potentially would have been undercoated or painted. It's just so clean. I do see a few rock chips by the grill. This is just normal road wear and tear. Going around the car, this one does appear to have all factory glass. You could tell by the Lexus insignia. Factory rims all look in good shape. No scuffs or chips. This one's got 265 Michelin tires. I believe that's what came stock. I beefed mine up a bit with 265 BFG all-terrains. Looks really nice on these GX470s. So now we're gonna move into the interior. Front seats all look in very good shape. Seller was smart to include these pictures. Generally with a 17-year-old vehicle, you'd see wear and tear on the armrest. Just normal with any amount of driving. This one's not the case. Cushion on this front seat is exhibiting very minimal wear. Headrests have no creases or scuffs. Looking at picture 92 here, I see what they're talking about. This is the first sign I've seen of any cracking in the wood grain, albeit very minor. This is a nice cabin shot here. It gives you a bird's eye view of the interior. In picture 103, very impressive dash. The GX470 was notorious for dash cracks, and I'm not seeing any in this one. Well, I spoke too soon. Picture 105, I do see a hairline crack by the air conditioning vent. I would say this is minor, though, given the prevalence of dash cracks in these GX470s. This is another feature of my GX I really love. Wood grain and leather steering wheel is overbuilt. It's just got a real heavy feel to it. The odometer shows 70,847 miles. That's only 63 miles since the last Carfax entry in January 2023. Here we see the minor wear to the climate control buttons that was listed in the auction. Being this was a Florida vehicle, this likely got a lot of use in the summertime. Here we see another hairline crack in the wood grain. Again, exceptionally minor for a 17-year-old vehicle that has been driven. The rear seat on this GX looks like it's literally never been sat in. Gotta say, I'm partial to the ash black interior on my GX, but this ivory is really starting to grow on me here. The carpeting in this GX looks essentially new. The only thing missing is WeatherTech all weather mats. No, this channel is not sponsored by WeatherTech, but should it be? WeatherTech, call me. And for viewers that are new to the GX, it does feature third row seating that can neatly be folded up, just like the Land Cruiser. The GX is powered by a V8 engine. If I had any complaint about my GX, it would be just that. These are not known for their fuel economy. Now, this picture is worth a lot of money right here. This is showing that the timing belt's been replaced on this GX470. For all of you Lexus owners out there in the audience, you know this can be an expensive repair. So this should give the next buyer some assurance this work's been done. Wow. This undercarriage looks new. I see what the commenters were saying. At first glance, I would have thought that this was undercoated. I'm actually surprised by this condition given the Florida ownership. Must not have been a coastal car. Just continuing to go through these undercarriage photos. It's really impressive. It looks new from factory. I'd be curious what cleaning techniques this seller used on the undercarriage. Looks like dry ice. This is really remarkable. I just hit picture 280. This is the last undercarriage photo. Remember, we started at picture 204. I think the seller's trying to to set a new standard for undercarriage photos and visibility. He's done a great job. So we're on picture 298. We've hit the end of the photos on this auction. This one shows the GX comes with two sets of keys and books. So in recap, this is a 2006 GX 470. It's got low 71,000 miles. It's finished in attractive titanium metallic over ivory leather. This GX only has two owners since new, both of which were in the state of Florida. And then this undercarriage. I think this one's going to go for big money. So let's go ahead and take a look at pricing on the GX 470. So to accurately gauge pricing on this GX 470, 
470. I only use the years 2003 through 2009. That's the first gen GX 470 in the US. Looking across the marketplace, we have a low value of 17,250 all the way up to 45,000. I found this one to be most similar to a 2005 GX 470 that sold for 26,000 in February. Comparable mileage, 77,000 miles in similar overall condition. So tell me what you think about this GX 470 auction. I'd love to hear your feedback on pricing and condition in the comments. Also, we are a new channel, so if you like the video, make sure to like and subscribe. This goes a long way to inspire the creation of future content, especially since we have the goal of reviewing auctions daily. Thanks again for watching. See you tomorrow for more vintage four-wheel drives.